troubleshooting and alarms. Caution, negative UF. What causes this alarm? There are several potential causes for the negative UF alarm to sound. A caution negative UF alarm is displayed if the patient has retained more than the allowed percentage of the programmed fill volume in either the current cycle or over the course of several cycles. In standard fill mode, a caution negative UF alarm occurs when the patient has retained more than 50% of the fill volume in the current cycle or over the entire therapy. Unlike standard fill mode, where the negative UF percentage is set at 50%, in low fill mode, the allowable negative UF percentage is an adjustable setting with a range of 20 to 60%. It can be set to a higher percentage for patients who absorb fluid so that the therapy can run without generating additional alarms. It can be set to a lower percentage for patients who drain well but are sensitive to increased fill volumes or patients with high ultrafiltration rates. It is important to understand that negative UF is related to the volume of solution remaining in the peritoneal cavity or fluid not drained from the fill volume. This is a manual restart alarm, which means you must manually stop the alarm and correct the situation. To resolve this alarm, your patient should Step 1. Press Stop to mute the alarm. Step 2. Change position. Step 3. Press Go to return to the therapy and continue draining. If the alarm occurs again, your patient should Step 1. Press Stop to mute the alarm. Step 2. Press the down arrow to check the drain volume. The screen will display the amount drained as drain volume in milliliters. Step 3. Press the down arrow again. The screen will display eye drain volume in milliliters if the alarm occurred after the initial drain was completed. Step 4. Press the down arrow again and the minimum volume that the cycler expects your patient to drain in the current cycle is shown. The screen will display one of these messages. Minimum drain volume with the volume displayed in milliliters or tidal drain with the volume displayed in milliliters. Note, your patient may need to drain more than the amount displayed to prevent a caution negative UF alarm. Step 5. Press the down arrow again. The current UF, updated throughout the drain phase, is displayed on the screen in milliliters. Step 6. Press the down arrow again. A drain alarm message appears. The drain not finished message is displayed if the current drain phase has not reached the minimum drain volume required. A caution negative UF message is displayed if the patient has retained more than the allowed percentage of the programmed fill volume in either the current cycle or over the course of several cycles. Step 7. Press the down arrow again and Bypass will be displayed. You will then need to select one of the following options. Option A. Press Go to return to drain if you do not want the patient to bypass. This is the recommended option. Or Option B. Press the down arrow until manual drain appears. Press Enter to initiate a manual drain. Or, Option C, Press Enter to Bypass. Make sure to train your patients on when it's safe to bypass so they know when it's appropriate to do so. Your patient will have bypassed the caution negative UF alarm. The next fill begins and the fill number is displayed on their screen. Note, this alarm can be bypassed only once. Advise your patient to contact you immediately if this alarm occurs after the patient has already bypassed the alarm. Warning: 
Bypassing a caution negative EF alarm can leave fluid in the peritoneal cavity and create an increase in intraperitoneal volume, or IIPV. IIPV could result in a feeling of abdominal discomfort, serious injury, or death. The Patient at Home Guide has additional information about adjusting your patient's settings and contains a full description of risks and warnings. Please review this guide for complete information. Ask patients to consult with you if they have any questions or concerns about bypassing.